basis. We know acid is a substance which provides H plus ions when dissolved in water. Whereas base is a substance which releases OH minus ions. For example, washing soda and caustic soda are the basis. Which has bitter taste and soapy to touch. It gives pink color when reacts with phenolphthalein and yellow with methyl orange. Now dip a red litmus paper in base solution. What happens? It turns into blue which indicates the basic character. Let's see how the bases are classified. Bases are classified based on ionization, acidity and concentration. First, based on ionization, it is classified into strong bases and weak bases. Strong bases such as sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide are completely ionized in water. Whereas, weak bases such as ammonium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide are partially ionized in water. Next, based on their acidity. Acidity means the number of replaceable hydroxyl groups present in one molecule of a base. If one hydroxyl group is replaced in a molecule, it is called monoacidic base. If two hydroxyl groups are replaced in a molecule, then it is diacidic base. Then what about for the replacement of three hydroxyl groups? Excellent! It is triacidic base. Finally, based on the concentration. Bases which dissolve in water are called alkalis. Depending on the percentage or amount of base dissolved in water, bases are classified as concentrated alkali and dilute alkali. If an alkali having relatively high percentage of alkali dissolved in water, it is called concentrated alkali. If an alkali having relatively low percentage of alkali dissolved in water, then it is called dilute alkali. Have a quick recap on the classification of bases. Chemical properties of bases When metals react with base, it forms salt and hydrogen gas. That is, zinc metal reacts with sodium hydroxide to form sodium zincate with the liberation of hydrogen gas. But metals such as copper, silver, chromium does not react with base. When non-metallic oxide reacts with base, it forms salt and water. That is, sodium hydroxide reacts with carbon dioxide to form sodium carbonate and water. Bases generate hydroxide ions when dissolved in water. Now let's do an experiment. Take a conical flask and pour sodium hydroxide solution. Add a few drops of phenolphthalein. What happens? It turns into pink color solution.
Now, add hydrochloric acid in this solution. What did you observe? A colorless solution is formed because of acid which nullifies the reaction of base. From this experiment, it shows that the acid neutralizes base to form salt and water. Finally, the uses of bases. Sodium hydroxide is used in the manufacture of soap. Calcium hydroxide is used in whitewashing the buildings. Magnesium hydroxide is used as a medicine for stomach troubles and ammonium hydroxide is used to remove grease stains from clothes. A quick recall. 